Can I ask you to please draw a host? Come and, uh, there's a Prince Philip has been performing public engagements for as long as anyone in Britain can remember. <laughs> this week in London, the official opening of a new stand at the Lord's Cricket Ground. On the balcony at Buckingham, where many kings and queens have appeared... 1947, and marriage to then Princess Elizabeth. He, the dashing naval officer, descended from Greek and Danish royal families, she the heir to the British throne. And she became queen sooner than either of them had anticipated, just a few years later. That meant an end to his naval career and the beginning of a long life of public service, often in her shadow. Hundreds of official engagements every year. Although Prince Philip has also worked on his own charities for young people and wildlife conservation. His reputation, well, he can be rude, he's definitely not politically correct, but his stamina, even his blunt honesty, have all won admirers over the years. Prince Philip made this announcement with the full support of Queen Elizabeth. They've been married for almost 70 years. She's 91 and she intends to carry on with all her official engagements. So not quite a changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, but as Prince Philip will be seen much less, we can expect to see more of younger generations of royals. It wasn't really a surprise to me because I think at the age of 95, uh, Prince Philip uh, was likely to want to step back a bit from some of his public roles. And being a well-organized uh, person that he is, and with a huge number of organizations that uh, he's involved with, he wanted any step back off the accelerator to be well organized. I'm sorry, you're standing down. I can't stand up much. It is a very belated retirement. Many in Britain and across the world will feel he deserves his rest. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, at Buckingham Palace.